Hello, my name is Dr. Theo Telenakis. I'm an outside physician specializing in unique therapies. Unique therapies? Hypnosis. How do you feel? I feel fine. Fine, but a little bit empty inside? Yes, a little bit empty. You haven't made any progress in recovering your past, but your short-term memory is still intact, and you can recall everything this past week, yes? Yes, that's correct. Your present mental state seems to be very stable, and you have a strong grasp of basic life skills, so they've decided to release you into an adult home. How do you feel about that? Good. I've been wanting to get out of here. Excellent. We'll be seeing each other. Well, you are quite the mystery man. We ran your prints and your DNA through every available channel, but it came up negative. Well, somebody out there has to know who I am. And there's no doubt about that. No man is an island. But until we can find your relatives and associates... Put those yeah. on. What, what is this? What is this? Music imprints itself into the human subconscious more than anything else. This CD is a various selection of music. I need you to listen to it, and then let me know if anything sounds particularly familiar to you. I just, I just remembered something. I, I, it was a girl. What kind of girl? Wife? Girlfriend? Sister? I, I... Cousin? I don't know. She was lying on a bed. What did she look like? I didn't see her face. Her hair was blonde. And her skin was perfect. I mean, it was like porcelain. Good. Now we can start. Start what? Hypnosis. The most direct route to the subconscious. I just want you to focus all your attention onto this pen. Forget everything else. Forget the girl. Forget the waltz. Forget where you're sitting right now. Just focus on the pen. You remembered something? My name, my name is Walter. Walter. How does that make you feel? It feels like Walter, this is what I want you to do. Before you go to sleep tonight, I want you to look in the mirror and say your name over and over and over. 
until your name and your face are inseparable. Okay? Goodbye, Walter. Thanks. Walter. Walter. My name is Walter. My name is Walter. Walter, I know it's painful, but we have to know what happened to you. Here. This is a mild sedative. It'll make you calm down a bit. For the time being, try and cool down, and we'll start again, okay? Walter? Hello? Anyone there? Where the hell? 
hell am I? You know what you are. Is this a dream? Not like a nightmare. So what'd they get you for? I remembered. Remembered what? I've already been to the past. That's impossible. How do you know this? Logic! Rest assured, it was only a dream. It was real. Alright, I would bet my life on it. Couldn't be. You're just hallucinating. Walter Thomas Dubard. Age 29, convicted... Anyway, that doesn't matter. What does matter is that you were convicted once before. Yet because of the indomitable nature of time and space, you have returned with all your precious memory that the procedure was designed to erase. When word of your return spread among the authorities, many esteemed and important people wanted you spared and remanded to the Research Institute, where every fragment of your mind would be dissected and analyzed for inconsistencies. I, however, cannot allow that. If the poor, deluded scientists at the Institute find out how a deviant, antisocial specimen such as yours self can defy eradication and spontaneously return to the present, the whole humane procedure will be rendered useless and we will have to return to more primitive methods of dealing with criminals such as yourself. I hereby sentence you to be eradicated once again and to be sent back in the past 100 years and consequently have your memory erased. Your sentence shall be carried out 24 hours from now Cherish your memories, Mr. Dubar, for they will be gone when you awake. By the way, I I want you to do something for me. My means are extremely limited. But all right. When they strap you into the machine, I want you to think of your most special memory. If you knew anything about me, you know that I don't have many special memories. Just something that stayed with you over the years. Anything. But why? Trust me. And don't forget to see a doctor when you're on the other side. It's going to be a bit hard. You know what I mean. 